Hey guys, it's Greg Turner, the Radiology Coach. Wanted to talk to you about something that comes up quite often when I visit offices and clinics and podiatry and such. A lot of folks ask me about the necessity of marking your films with a lead marker. You know, the hard markers, the markers that you place on the cassette or might mount it on the lateral cassette when you're doing laterals, when a, a cassette is standing upright, that kind of thing. Because the reason it, it does come up is most people think, well, that's an obvious. We have to mark all of our films, which is true. However, when you have a digital system, you have two ways of marking the film on top of the possibility of marking it with a lead marker. And that is you have the DICOM tag, which means when you're shooting your x-ray, you are indicating with the PC or the software, the x-ray software you're using, you're indicating which limb or which side of the body you're x-raying. You can also grab a digital marker when you're editing that x-ray. When you're reviewing it, you can edit it with a digital marker and kind of drag it onto the picture. You have that as well. So the question arises is, you know, should we have to worry about these old lead markers anyhow? And the big answer, the long answer, uh, actually, the short answer is yes, you do need a lead marker. The long answer would be simply because when you, the reason you still need a lead marker, if at all possible, is that if you end up in a court of law where a lawyer is asking you questions about the image itself, they may ask you, well, did you mark this with a lead marker? And did you mark it with a digital marker? You always want to be able to say that you marked it with a lead marker. Why? Because you can't change a lead marker after it's been initiated, after the film has been developed. But you can change a digital marker, whether it be a DICOM tag or the digital marker itself. In fact, I can go to virtually any x-ray digital acquisition software anywhere. You pull up an x-ray for me and I'll change that marker for you. And so that's the most important piece is that when you shoot an x-ray with a lead marker, you cannot alter that. It, it, there is that difference is if you mismark the film, you do have to use a digital means to actually indicate that you did mismark the film, and that's kind of a gray area. But what we're really talking about is the necessity of lead markers, and here you have it. If at all possible, please mark your films with a lead marker. That concludes our section on digital markers, should we mark or should we not. I'm the Radiology Coach. If you like the video, this information that you're hearing, please click subscribe and the bell notification right next to it, and you'll be able to get more videos that are useful for you. Folks, if you want to hear uh, information, if you have questions that you want me to create a video on, please email me at info, I-N-F-O, at theradiologycoach.com, and we'll take care of you, okay? Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.